Yeah, you kind of like playing here, don't you, Austin? I do. There's a lot of green. The ball looks very white here. <laughs> hey, you know, I, ran, I was talking to Dan Duquette, who used to be the general manager. How about this? He said we're coming up with a white kind of a sand-like thing where they'll be able to rub the balls and they'll actually have the baseballs stay white color. How would you feel about that? So yep, you'll... I like that. Laces, laces stand out a little bit more, so on those... Uh, those nasty sliders that have some crazy <laughs> spin rates, you can uh, see the laces and the dots on them. And his whole other idea was if you used a foreign substance, you would actually see it on the ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so it's it a multi-fold thing. Yeah. It makes sense. Hey, awesome. Big win, wasn't it? Yeah, that was awesome. Gutsy performance right there by our bullpen. Um, just grinding it out. Everybody came to pitch tonight, and uh, we were able to give them a lead early, and, and they held on to it, and uh, they went and shoved tonight. Austin, the numbers have been really impressive for you. If you go back to, to May 18th with a bunch of multi-hit games, your batting average continues to climb. What have you been doing at the plate that's allowed you to be so locked in? Just trying to be consistent with every single pitch. Um, just get to where I'm in a comfortable position and get a good pitch to hit. Super simple stuff. Uh, just working on that in the cage and having it come out and, and just staying on the field every single day, not getting hurt, not having to deal with rehabs. Just be on the field every day, have consistent at-bats, and be as consistent as possible with approach night in and night out. You know, over the course, I don't know, I'm now over 50 years that I've seen guys, you know, guys will have good home run years like you had last year. You know, your best month probably was September. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go to the next year and they go, oh, you know, I'm going to hit 25, I'm going to hit 30, and then the average goes down and they don't use the whole field. You're, you've done just the opposite is is that something that you know with a short spring training the new hitting instructors what's going on there um i think i i don't really have a home run mindset in my mind whatsoever i think if you're trying to hit a home run or you're trying to hit a ground ball to the right side you end up hitting the same amount of homers anyways uh you just cut you run into it you're a little early on something you catch it out front and you get that better launch angle on it just because you're catching it out front. But if you're trying to catch everything out there all the time, you're going to chase a lot more pitches. You're going to get a lot more swing and miss. So I'm just trying to stay through the big part of the field, uh, let the ball get deep enough to where I can recognize spin and, and keep these pitchers in the zone because I don't think they can make me swing and miss when I'm swinging at pitches in the zone. But if I start chasing that nasty stuff that it looks like a strike but it's a ball, they're going to get me to swing and miss a lot. So just really trying to stay through the middle of the field and, and let the ball travel. Austin, last one. We talked about how you've been locked in at the plate. Rugnet Odor has been really locked in at the plate. What has it been like watching him and seeing what he's been able to do? Yeah, I saw a stat pop up on my Twitter yesterday. He said he had like an 11-game hitting streak going. That was, I think, maybe the longest in his uh, in his career, or tied his career high. So he's he's swinging it right now. Everything he's hitting is is smashed, and he's pulling the ball really well in the air right now. Um, so I don't. I don't know what clicked for him, but, you know, he's doing a lot of damage for us and, and driving in a lot of runs, too. 